Another interesting um, and important video is uh, Menelaus's theorem. And Menelaus's theorem says that three points that are collinear have a relationship in a triangle. Um, and it's best understood with the triangle first, so you could start with the, the triangle or the points on a line and then draw in the triangle from there. But what happens is you have A, B, and C, and then um, we put X somewhere here on this side. And this can be done in a few different ways. So this is just a general version of this. And then Y somewhere right here. And then Z is actually to be collinear and on AB has to be on AB extended, um, which is the key here. Um, and what it says is when you draw in these segments, AZ over BZ, um, and then BX over CX, and CY over AY, and you can kind of see the relationship here, A over B, B over C, C over A, and then to these three points that are on there. If those equal, uh, the ratio of those equal one, then um, they are collinear, or if they are collinear, then those relationships equal one. Now, Sometimes this is considered to be negative one, um, and that has to do with directed segments, um, and it's not something we're going to cover in this video. So to prove this, to show how this works, what you end up doing is dropping in perpendiculars from each of the vertices of the triangle to this line that is here. And we're going to prove it um, and show that this is true, given that they're collinear, and then um, uh, we're not going to go through and prove the opposite of it, even though the opposite is also true. What you end up recognizing is, by drawing in these perpendiculars, you have some um, similar triangles. The first similar triangle says that angle Z is congruent to itself. So if we drop in, if we call these, because they're altitudes basically, HA, H, B, and H, C, because they're altitudes that go to each of those vertices. Um, if we look at those, the, the triangle that includes A, Z, um, and um, B, Z, and so A, Z here, and then B, Z, which is that in total distance, well, that, those, those uh, segments are in triangles that include H, A, and H, B, um, that are similar because they both have right angles, so we have those right angles, and they both have um, uh, uh, angle Z. So that means AZ over BZ, the hypotenuse of these right triangles, is going to be equal to the two altitudes, HA over HB. And then similarly, we can come over here and see that this angle is congruent to that angle, and so these triangles are similar to each other. And again, if we do um, BX, and I'm going to just do what's up here, so BX over CX, well, that's going to be equal to those two sides that are opposite the congruent angle by vertical angles, which are HB and HC, and so it's going to be congruent to HB over HC. And then finally, we're going to do uh, this congruent to that, and so we've got these triangles C, X, Y, and, uh, or C, whatever this point is, Y, and then A, and Y, and that at that point would give it names. And so doing the same thing, we're going to do C, Y over A, Y. Well, since we did the C, Y first, we're going to have H, C over H, A. If we multiply all of the fractions of sides together, we get A, Z over B, Z times B, X over C, X times C, Y over A, Y. Well, that's going to equal HA over HB and um, HB over HC and HC over HA. The C's cancel, the B's cancel, the HA's cancel, which leaves you with just one, showing that this ratio is always going to be one, assuming those three points are collinear. So that uh, can be used in both proving three points are collinear or if they are collinear, then that tells us something about some ratios in that triangle.